Hello everyone, I'm Daniela and for today's video I'm gonna show you how to make uh, some bow scrunchies. I saw these on the Urban Outfitters website and they sell them for $6, which isn't bad, but um, I was able to use some fabric scraps on mine so they were completely free and that's worth even more since I was upcycling. If you're not a big fan of bows, you can also make just the scrunchy piece, which takes even less fabric. I actually made another one like that. And you can mix and match the fabric, colors, pattern, to make it suit every outfit that you have or your personal style. Don't forget that the supplies, as I do in all of my videos, are in the description box below. And let's get started. Oh, and make sure to watch at the end of the video so you can see uh, my favorite ways to style these scrunchies. These are the scraps that I currently have in my stash. To explain the whole process, I'm using the pink one, but this fabric, which was from a curtain, uh, is a bit stiff, so bear in mind the type of fabric you choose. Cut a piece of fabric that is 9 by 45 cm for your scrunchie part. Fold the scrunchy piece in half, lengthwise, with the right sides facing each other, and sew the side. Turn the tube right side out. I used a loop turner for this, which is essentially a wire with a hook at the end to help you pull the fabric. You can also do it by pinning a safety pin to one end and pushing the pin through the tube. Cut your elastic with 20 cm. Place it inside the tube, either by hand, if you can, with a safety pin or with the loop turner. Make sure the elastic doesn't get twisted. Pull both hands and sew them together. Fold the raw edge on one of the scrunchy ends and tuck the other one inside. Then, and sew the tube closed. You can also sew this part with the machine if you don't mind the flat seam, which you can later uh, cover up with the bow. Now that you have the scrunchy part, let's move on onto the bow. If you can, cut another long strip that is 9 by 65 cm. I say can because since I'm using scraps, I didn't have enough for an entire piece, so I ended up cutting two pieces with about 32 cm and sew them together.
fold that rectangle in half, lengthwise, with the right sides facing each other and sew the side. Turn the tube right side out. Push the raw edge on both ends in through the inside of the tube. You can give it a slight angle if you want, like this and sew both parts. Now you just need to tie it around the scrunchie. Since the fabric is a bit stiff, I don't do any type of knot before tying the bow. And that is it! Ok, these are the ways that I like to wear the scrunchies. Uh, this first one is what I would call the more basic one. It's just a regular bow. So I just tie a ponytail and then twist the scrunchie two times and place the bow on the top. The next way is just to untie the bow and use it with a regular knot. It's good if you're not so much into bows, but still want to have like something going on in your hair. The last one is the one that reminds me of a ballerina. I just do a bun on my hair. Uh, with as much pins as I need. Uh, this time I actually used just three. Curly hair is actually very forgiving on the quantity of pins that you would need to hold it. And then I just placed the scrunchie around it to hold everything together. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did let me know by giving it a thumbs up and if you have any suggestions for future videos or questions leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. If you do make this DIY don't forget to send a picture to me on my Instagram so I can share it on my stories and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Bye.